going into the Breeders' Cup, it's important to remember that Julie Crone hadn't ridden in a Breeders' Cup race in seven years. And with nothing left to prove, that was the one thing that was missing from her resume. There had never been a female rider to win the Breeders' Cup, but that really wasn't even the focal point. It was all about the relationship between Julie, the Hall of Famer, and this incredible horse, Half Bridled. At the age of 40, Julie found a horse that she called the best two-year-old she had ever ridden. And Half Bridled, that big, lanky filly with the big ears, loved Julie. She was undefeated going into the juvenile fillies. It was no question she would be favorite, but interestingly went off as high as two to one when she drew post 14 in the biggest, toughest field of her life. And they're off. Dixie High hustles out of there, and there goes Forrest Music, seizing the initiative early. A shadow comes away running in second, half bridled, stuck out there, four wide. You could see the confidence Julie had. She went right to gain position, then settled into stride. And she said she did way more pulling than pushing as half bridled was all race horse. And she remained patient. Julie was all confidence, even down the back stretch, just getting half bridled, throttled down, wait, wait. You could see half bridled's ears flicking back and forth, just begging to run. Half bridled looms a threatening third on the outside right there. And Julie Cohn's got a handful. She moved up into third on the turn, and I remember watching thinking, wow, she's going to gobble up the field, and that's exactly what she did the instant Julie let her go. Tinto as the field turns for home, and half bridle comes off the turn in front. Victory USA, Jerry Bailey working on her. Half bridle in front line act, Victory USA fights on. A shadow right there, and right on the outside there. Down to the final 100 yards. Half bridle in front, and half bridle is pulling away. Victory USA, a shadow giving futile chase under the line. Great horses make jockeys look good, and this is a one of the most incredible young horses I've ever sat on in my life. Afterwards, Julie was a little bit subdued considering she was the first female rider to win a Breeders' Cup race that's a non-steeplechase, but Dick Mandela gave her a world of praise. Not just any jockey could have been as cool as she was. She finessed herself like an ice skater around that first turn, and I was very happy with her. It was a combination of an incredible racehorse and an incredible ride.